without the dreaded acrylic part right there covering the GPU. I thought I'd uh, show you guys the PC without it. It seems a lot of you guys didn't really enjoy it, which is fair enough. I can understand why the GPU is one of the main parts of the system. So I can see why a lot of you would like to see that, um, which is fair enough. I, I completely understand. A lot of guys in the comments were also saying it's not um, it's not really customized as much as what I normally do. Um, I did fail to mention in the title that this was a 12 hour PC challenge. I did mention it in the description, but um, yeah, a lot of people obviously wouldn't have read the description, so that is my bad. So I did build this PC over a 12 hour period just so I could have a PC for my own setup. As a lot of you may know, we just moved into our own home, so I didn't currently have a PC which I could use to make videos or render. Hey guys, good to see you in the comments there. Um, yeah, so I just made this quick PC just so I had something to use in the meantime while I was you know, working on the YouTube video editing and everything like that. So, bro, I was going to name my PC. <laughs> Black Snow, eh? Black Snow. Well, I only called this Blue Snow because it was a white case, blue coolant and everything like that. So uh, yeah, we've, we've taken the acrylic part off. Hopefully, all of you guys understand that this just was a 12 hour PC build. It wasn't anything um, you know over the top that we are trying to go for in the end. Um, as you can see, you know, we've got the awesome uh, Nighthawk RAM there from uh, T-Force and the, all that RGB and everything. That, of course, can all be set to one color if we want that. Just a temporary PC for the meantime. Um, we did get sent this Seagate power supply. Looks really, really nice. Good to see you guys. Hello from Iraq. You awesome. Love you. Hey, Mohammed. How are you, man? Good to see you, Bernard. Good morning. I'm good, thank you. Um, what I wanted to bring you guys uh, your attention to is this PC was built on Sunday. It is now, what's today, Thursday? It's now Thursday for us. Down in the graphics card water block, I can see a buildup of gunk and powder. Now, if I leave this liquid in there any longer, that's gonna ruin this water block. I'm sure all of that gunk and powder is starting to happen inside there. So I kind of need to get this blue out of the system because I really can't afford to have uh, ruined water blocks. I'm sure that all of that gunk is within the radiator as well. I'm not sure what is causing it, but it is starting to build up around the edges there. I'm sorry I can't get a good shot for you guys. I'm only on the phone at the moment. So um, yeah, what I'm going to do today is take you guys through the process of cleaning out all of that liquid. I'm going to get some water in there for the meantime, some distilled water. And because I need this system up and running so I can keep continuing making videos and everything like that. I do plan to make another PC for you guys. And of course, I'm going to spend a bit more time on that one because I don't need to use it for my main PC. But yeah, this one was just a 12 hour PC build challenge. And yeah, Mayhem's Blitz it. I might do that. But for the meantime, I just have to put some distilled water in there because I actually don't have any of that on hand. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pass the phone over to my fiance and I'm going to get draining this system and we'll, I'll give you guys a closer look at the GPU block once the system is drained, but I don't know how well you guys can see that there. It looks a bit blurry to me, but yeah, there's a bit of gunk forming up inside that GPU. So let's see what we can do. So I made this very easy on myself to drain this system. I did put a drain valve right here with a T-connect. So now I've got it overhanging the desk. I'll be able to just put a bottle on the end, open this all up and be able to drain it very easy. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do right now. So when I drain this, I wanna open up the top and basically that's gonna release um, the air pressure inside. It's also gonna allow for the liquid to go down and out. 
Um, can you give me one sec? And I'm just going to quickly grab some paper towel. And yeah, you can just show them the PC if you want. <laughs> See how good this can get some good quality in it, hopefully. How are you guys going today? What has everyone been up to? Now, one thing we need to um, need to do is obviously make sure that we're not letting the pump run dry as well. So when all of the liquid reaches the bottom, we don't want the pump running. But um, for now, to get the majority of the liquid out, we won't need the PC turned on anyway. So I'll go ahead and I will turn that off. Excess liquid coming out from the pressure. Shout out to Belgium and Barcelona. Hey guys, how you going? Belgium and Barcelona. Yeah guys, where are you all from? Very keen to see where you're all from. I can't wait to start building PCs properly again. I've still got to get my garage and everything set up, but um, for the meantime, we're making make do with what we've got, which is excellent. So I've released the top port, that's gonna allow air to go in and replace the liquid. If I didn't release the top port, this liquid would only trickle, trickle out really, really slow. So now we'll undo the valve down here. Hopefully that's closed, yeah it is. Okay, that's done. Wow, people from all over the place, that's crazy. Then we'll open this up. Um, by the way guys, Apple and mango juice, the best stuff around. Oh, yes. <laughs> There's actually a bit of uh, a bit of gunk and stuff stuck to the side of the reservoir as well. It's pretty crazy. There's just bits here and there. The tubes seem to be coated underneath a tiny bit as well. But uh, we'll run some we'll run some liquid through and we'll see how we go trying to get a lot of this out. So you can see there's a bit of a powder. There's a bit of a powder on this side as well, inside the tube. So it's been building up. Very, very, very weird. Hasn't happened to me before, but um, I'd rather get it out before all the water blocks get ruined anyway. I'll be right back. We have a question on what the specs are in this build. Specs, we've got a i7 6700K CPU. So it is a, the CPU is two generations old, but I try and make the systems with whatever spare hardware I've got. Um, I always, I don't really have a lot of spare hardware, but I do make do with what I've got. Um, that's a Asus GTX 1060 Strix. We've got the T-Force Nighthawk RGB RAM, 16 gigabytes of that. Uh, we've got the MSI Z270 Tomahawk Arctic motherboard and um, the Seasonic Focus Gold power supply with uh, Thermaltake Core P3 case and Thermaltake liquid cooling. So to clean out the system first, I'm just gonna flush it out with normal water just straight out of the tap. That's gonna get rid of all this blue stuff and then we're gonna get all of that normal water out with the distilled water. And um, that should be good there. So you can see it's it's coated the tubes there as well. All through here, that's all like a 
powder, even underneath, that's where you can really see it there. It's not really focusing very well. No, it doesn't, it's not focusing um, in a lot, but we'll make do. I probably shouldn't have filled this up as much as well. <laughs> it's going to be hard for me to pour it in. What I might do is grab the tube. Oh, I've got an idea. I'll grab a cup. So what has everyone been up to today and this week? How's your week going everyone? Have you all had a good week? Do you guys like vertical GPU mounting? Vertical? Is that a question for us or are you asking them? No, no question for everyone I think. Did the fluid settle into the system? Where's my um... <laughs> You're not supposed to pour water on the outside of the reds, Corey. <laughs> I thought it made for a nice waterfall effect. Um, yeah, over the reservoir. I thought it looked pretty good. <laughs> Bad I have exams? No! Oh. Mine's been boring. Oh, no! <laughs> Alright, let's do this. This is probably a lot more effective solution, just a bit slower. That is how I feel the builds normally anyway. Takes a bit more time, but hey, it's, it's, it's getting in. So I might, I might drain the reservoir until that's clear. And then once that's clear, I'll fill the reservoir back up to the top and then I'll let that flow around the system to try and get a lot more of the liquid out. It, is, it does take a lot of time for this as well. Um, it would be handy if I had a third bottle too. Do we have a third bottle? I don't think we do. <laughs> we might do. That's all right. I'll just keep going back and forth between them all. So it should get clearer and clearer each time. Once it does get clear, I'll let it run around the system. Try and get all of that liquid in the radiator. I'm sure the radiator is probably full of blue liquid at the moment. Sausage wants to know what fluid was in the system. Uh, it was a thermal tank, uh, opaque C1000 blue. But I've, it's never happened to me before. Like I've, I've never seen the build up of all of that. I'm just lucky that I, you know what, it's because of you guys that I noticed it because a lot of people didn't like the acrylic panel that was on there so I decided to remove it. When I removed it, that's when I spotted the, uh, the uh, build up in the GPU. So if you guys hadn't have said anything, I wouldn't have spotted it. So this is actually looking pretty clear now so I might let that run through the loop. I'll let that run through the loop and um, we'll go from there. What I might do is, so everything's not getting powered, I'm going to take the 24 pin out. If I can get it out, it's bloody stuck. Gadget Joe said, did you flush the rats out before filling with the coolant? Hey Gadget, yeah man, I always flush my system. It's, um, that's one thing that I always make sure I do. I think this is from the coolant itself though, because I 
I should have looked at the bottle a bit better, but um, at the bottom of the bottle, I actually saw a bit of a build-up of some gunk as well. Um, so, but to me, I just thought that was a bit of settlement from the bottle just sitting there for ages, but, uh, well, obviously, it's just gotten around the system. And, I mean, the tube should still be clean after, you know, five days of use, so, who knows. I don't know if it really doesn't go away with splash. <laughs> of course. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to bridge the 24 pin, which means I need or something. How late is it there? It's actually still morning in yeah, Australia. Morning for us, maybe 10 o'clock. That's a guess. Actually don't know what the time is. Damn, wish I could do stuff like this. It's pretty fun, not gonna yeah, lie. It's, fun. it's cool to look at too. <laughs> so that's the fourth. It's 5 30 p.m. for me. Wow. Fourth and the seventh. She's got him trained now. What, you got me trained? Yeah, Sausage was like, does he always flush? <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Bloody Sausage. <laughs> yeah, it should be right. You know, I always worry about live streams doing some big fail, like I've left a port or something Oh, open. gosh. The yeah. top should be fine. I was going to say. <laughs> nothing will happen with the top. Do you only make the PCs or can you send all the pieces and we can build it ourselves. I really love all of the stuff you make. Um, I can do just the case and then you can put the PC in there yourself, if that's what you're asking. Silly sausage. <laughs> you silly sausage. <laughs> yes, we. I can do that for sure. I've actually had a lot of people um, ask that question before, so. And definitely, actually, let's, uh, no, let's not. Well, what's the point of doing that? Yeah, let's drain that first. Gadget Joe <laughs> says, really digging the new desk setup. Ultra clean, ultra clean looking and perfect for the videos. Yeah, that's, I was, that's what we we're trying to go for. We wanted the, uh, the white sort of background. We've got the LEDs behind there, RGB, so we can set whatever color we want. And, um, yeah, I'm just keen to get into building some more PCs. I think it's going to be awesome. Come on, let's go, let's go. Was the fluid just too concentrated, maybe? Oh, well, it's the stock fluid that came in the bottle. It wasn't a concentrate or anything. It was just the C1000 um, bottle, the one litre bottle. So, should have been fine. You can see a, a big build up at the edge there as well. You see that just on the inside? You guys might not be able to see it properly, but um, yeah, I'm gonna have to take it apart eventually and clean it all out. But for now, I'm just gonna have to put some distilled water in there because I need to use this PC. I also want to get another build done for you guys very, very soon. What do you think of the Titan V? What does that mean, Titan V? Titan V? Bloody expensive. <laughs> How old were you when you started modding? Um, believe it or not, I haven't been doing it for long. About four years I've been going now, three or four years. Yeah, I think so. What am I now? So I would have been 20 years old. Yeah. Are you guys in Sydney or another part of Australia? We're in Sydney. I don't feel on you, Caravan. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'm glad that we're not in the caravan anymore. When are we going to see another custom desk PC build? Custom desk PC? We need to make the room for that first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, I never told any of you, but um, my other desk PC, I have actually given that to one of my mates, so I no longer have a desk PC. However, 
I will be building a, a new PC with limited edition parts coming up very, very, very soon within the Christmas holidays. And um, perhaps in the future, we'll be able to build another desk PC as well. But I'm very keen to show you guys a new setup tour because we've got some pretty cool things in store. You know what I love though? I love um, the shots where I'm putting the liquid in and then I slow it down in the video and then watch it back. It looks so nice. Do you reckon do you reckon you can do a custom water loop on a budget and low salary? You know what I wanted to do? I actually wanted to do a um, a video of a real cheap custom loop um, like for people on a budget like you just said. So um, I might actually think of a parts list try and get it out before Christmas as well because it might make for a nice Christmas present for someone or Something like that. So that's uh, it's a really good idea, man. Where do you guys get your parts from in Australia? It's always tricky to find. In Australia, um, PC Case Gear is probably one of the largest. You've got mwave.com.au, you've got Scorp Tech, you've got Umart. Newegg just opened. We now have Amazon Australia. Um, they've just opened. Um, so we've got quite a few places. But um, a lot of the stuff I get from overseas as well because we don't always stock everything in Australia either. So, um, for instance, we got this motherboard overseas because there's nothing in Australia anymore of this white motherboard. So... That's something that we uh, look at as well, like performance PCs, they're a really great store. I do a lot of shopping from them. They've got a, a large range of water cooling gear as well. The water cooling gear in Australia is pretty limited. I'd say M-Wave and PC Gaze Gear have the largest range for water cooling. Who is your favourite modder that isn't you? My favourite modder that isn't me. Lucky you said that because he probably would have said himself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my favourite modder that isn't me. I'd have to say probably... There's a guy called Random Design. Um, pretty sure he's from Germany. Uh, he makes some real crazy stuff. And I would have to say him and then I'd have to say... Um, his name actually no I'm gonna say random design yeah he makes some crazy stuff like insane sausage says make a loop from cheap eBay parts cheap eBay parts <laughs> <laughs> The problem with cheap eBay parts is they're cheap for a reason. <laughs> they don't always work either. That'd be interesting though. <laughs> oh, they, they might work for a week and then yeah. they might break down. Some of them might might work, that's fine. A lot of them actually majority of the cheap eBay parts are made from uh, aluminum or aluminium, however you guys pronounce it. Which is fine as long as the fittings, the water blocks, everything is made from aluminium because you don't want to be mixing metals because if you mix metals with aluminium, it's the corrosion starts to set in so fast because um, aluminium definitely doesn't like other metals. Whereas you can mix nickel and copper because they're corrosion um, levels are so similar they're very very similar so that's why a lot of systems will have um, you know some copper water blocks some nickel plated water blocks 
and things like that. So, What's the normal price range of your custom PCs? I want to build my own, but parents think it's best. I just buy one pre-made, and if I do that, might as well look cool. <laughs> the, the only problem of buying a custom PC from me is... So I'm assuming a lot of you guys are probably from USA or a different country other than Australia. So one thing I need to factor in is shipping from Australia, a PC, which is probably going to be 20 kilos, 30 kilos. Um, I have to build a wooden crate and then you've got insurances because I sure as hell don't want you guys to receive a broken PC and I'm sure that um, if you did you'd expect me to fix it which I can't afford so I need to put insurances on it which would bump that costage up so postage from I'll give you guys an example postage from here to the UK I shipped a, a PC in a wooden crate it cost me about two grand to ship it which included insurances and taxes when it got over there. Because anything that's worth over $1,000 will also get a tax on it too. So, you know, that's there. That's what the major cost is. That's why a lot of people I can't do builds for because they approach me, they've got three grand or something, and they're like, yeah, can you build me a PC? I've got three grand. And they're going to be expecting a very, very high-end system, but the reality is a lot of that's going to be taken up on the shipping. Would you say it's cheaper to make your own PC and pick your own parts and put it together yourself or yeah. pre-build? Make your own PC for sure. There is some companies that do it real cheap and it almost works out the exact same price, but um, you gotta remember companies are building these PCs themselves, so it's taking up time. So they need to add on cost for labor and also profit for the company as well. I know a lot of companies like to get about 11% profit in the end, 11% um, margin on top of what the products would cost if they sold them separately. Teflon says, I am making a loop from cheap eBay parts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me know how it goes, man. Yeah. I'd be very interested. I just gotta keep doing this over and over. Eventually it'll start getting clear because I'm getting more and more water in the system. But um, yeah, I've definitely gotta get this out because I really don't want these water blocks or anything ruined. I need to use them for other PCs because um, you know, I wanna keep building over the Christmas holidays and I don't have a lot of uh, parts at the moment. We've had to sell a lot of gear to try and pay some bills and stuff as well. So it's unfortunate, but that's, uh, Owning a house, I guess. Michael asked, do I leave Philport... Oh, hang on. What do I do? There we go. Do I leave Philport open when getting air bubbles out? So, when you first fill a loop, a lot of air normally gets stuck in the radiator. And you'll notice that over time, you if you filled your reservoir to the top, you'll notice over time, it'll probably go down a tiny bit, a couple of centimetres, because of the air that needs to get out of the radiator. Now that'll eventually get out just by running your loop. So a good way to let all that air out is yeah, to leave that top port open. That's what I do, I let the system run for a bit, I leave it open, or you can get, um, there's like these air bleeding sort of fittings you can get, I think Bits Power sells them, you can get them. Um, but yeah, I just leave the port open for a tiny bit just to let that air out and then I'll I'll um, close it up and if it goes down anymore, I'll just top it up a bit over the, over the next couple of days. Does Performance PCs ship overseas to Australia? They sure do. Yes, they do. Sausage, just stick a hose in the thing. Hey. Sausage says just stick a hose in the thing. <laughs> a hose. <laughs> See, I like that idea. I think that's a much better idea. <laughs> house and he needed to flush his radiator out what he did was he's actually got a, a fitting a 
dream of quarter fitting and he made it fit to his hose and he he um connected the hose to the radiator and just Perfect. turned the hose on to flush the thing out why not Michael says, I'm from Australia and I'm doing my first water loop and I watch your videos and learnt a lot. Thank you. Ah, uh, thank you very much, Michael. Glad that we could help. I would like to do more tutorials as well. Um, get back into them once we're fully settled down. Like this room is a bit of a mess at the moment. I need to finish my setup. I don't have anything in the garage that's set up at the moment, so we're making do with what we got, but you know, once we're at that point where we're set up, I'd love to start doing even some live streams, showing you guys how to do stuff. Um, regular videos, at least once a week for um, how-to videos or showing you guys how to make some stuff too. So it's definitely stuff I'm really interested in. Do you think that this case will be good for a soft tubing loop? A soft tubing loop? Um, yeah, I can't see why not. The only issues you, it all depends on your layout as well. Just as long as that soft tube isn't hanging down into the fans so the fan blades aren't hitting it, it should be fine, yeah. Can you give me this PC for Christmas? It's it's on its way, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, um, I've got a bit of an idea. Uh, Amelia actually came up with it. What do you guys think about <laughs> us doing a Christmas tree? Oh, yeah, we got to do that. And decorating it with like PC parts, like PC parts, and then we'll take ring fans everywhere because the controller can hold up to eighty ring fans and power them simultaneously. What do you think about decorating a Christmas tree with like all of these ring fans all around it? And that's gonna be crazy. It'll, it'll be, be sick. <laughs> it'll be so cool. It'll be so bright though. Please tell us you want to see that so we can do that. <laughs> Is he using water from the sink? Doesn't that contaminate the loop for the next time he fills it? Um, so we're using water for the, from the sink just to get all of this out. And then we've got our demineralized water here, which we're gonna to use to clean the rest of it out. This is basically just to get the blue out of the system. And we'll go through, make sure it's all cleaned before we actually fill it back up with the uh, water. This man is the Jesus of PC builds. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> so now that you have your own house, can you throw a massive sub party? Yeah, who's coming over? Yes. <laughs> who's coming over? We'll fire up the barbecue and... <laughs> <laughs> we don't even have a barbecue yet. <laughs> we'll buy a barbecue and Yeah, and then it we'll up. fire it up. <laughs> How much does that cost? This PC? I'm, I think so, yeah. Um, good question. I actually have no idea. I've had these parts laying around for a bit just so I can keep making PCs. So I'm not actually aware of what their price is, to be honest. We're getting a lot of yeses for the Christmas tree. <laughs> the PC Christmas tree. Ring fans as ball balls and soft tubing with UV reactive fluid as tinsel. Oh, gosh. He's going all out. <laughs> I have my Corsair M65 mouse box hanging from the tree. Yes, do it. <laughs> I'm sure that looks great, sausage. <laughs> Our Christmas tree case. Yes, that'd be cool too. Best use of RGB ever, actually. <laughs> Nice idea. See, we have to do it. We've got to do that. We've got to do it? Yeah. We will. We'll do it. In fact, we've, like, you know, we've got a while today. We do. Have you ever used Singularity Computers components? Um, I personally haven't. They're great quality, but I do think he's selling them for a bit too much. Um, but... At the same time, they are really good quality. So it's whether or not you could factor that in. But for example, I think that Bits Power has really good quality as well, but their veg is nowhere near as much. But the only reason he has to do put
put it up so much is because he's only a small business, so he can't provide large quantities and everything to companies like a company like EK Woodblocks or Bits Power could, so his prices have to go up, so he makes that extra revenue and pays for all of that sh extra shipping costs. And a picture of Corey on top as a star, made of foam, of course. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, sausage will bring the barbecue. It's fine. Oh, good on you. <laughs> sausage coming in clutch. Yeah, let me come to Australia all the way from South Africa. Ooh, come on South over. Africa. Awesome. It's good to see people from everywhere. What's the time where you guys all are? Where do you get your sleeved cables from Cable Mod? Do you make your own cable sleeves? Um, so that all depends on how much time I have for a project. I have made my own sleeves before. Um, a lot of the time I actually got it from a, what am I doing? a place called Ice Mods. Um, but they've shut down. I also got it from a place called Mod Guru because Cable Mod used to make these cables actually. Um, I'm not 100% a fan for these ones because the cables are very thin, but now they've got their premium sleeving out, which is exactly what I like. It's a thicker cable and um, it just fills it out a lot more. And you see how this all clumps up in the middle? The premium cables, they stay straight, which is exactly what I'm after. It looks a lot cleaner. And um, so, yeah, I'll be probably using Cable Mod and Mod Guru from now on. Mod Guru is a real small company, so if you guys can show them a bit of support, definitely do that. Um, otherwise, yeah, Cable Mod, if, if you think that their cables are cheaper for you or anything like that. But definitely go with the premium ones, that, the ones that have the thicker cable because they look so much better. Why did you start this YouTube channel and any tips for getting into water cooling PCs as a very new PC enthusiast? Um, so to begin with, I started the channel because I was just making the desk PC. I had no real goal. I just wanted to sort of blog the desk PC as I was making it. Um, I wasn't planning on becoming a, a YouTuber. Then I sort of, after making the desk PC, I really enjoyed, because the desk PC was my first custom PC. Um, after making that, I really enjoyed making custom PCs and I also liked sharing it and receiving the uh, comments and everything like that. Because um, as you guys probably know, I don't know if you guys noticed, but when you guys comment, I reply to pretty much every single comment that's on there. If you guys look back at videos or anything, you'll see that Pretty much everyone has a reply. Um, I enjoy chatting to everyone about all of the PCs and that as well. So, yeah, I just like showing them off and seeing what I can create, really. So it's something I can look back at as well. To remove the liquid from the GPU is a bit difficult. You will have to disassemble it. Yeah, well, basically, what I would normally do is disassemble everything and then just tip the radiator out, tip the GPU out. But for this, we're going to keep it assembled. I'm just going to keep going until this is clear. Um, I All of the liquid in the radiator should be starting to get a bit clearer. And once it's clear, then I can flush it out a few times with distilled water and then just fill it up to the top with the distilled and we should be good to go. Because I've got to keep using this PC for my everyday PC as well. I've got nothing else up and running. Wow, well, just seen the subs and you're on 42k. That happened quick. I remember when you just hit 10k. Awesome, guys. Thank you, Gadget Joe. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. What was that? Gadget Joe says, just seen the subs and you're on 42K. That happened quickly. I remember when you just hit 10K. Awesome, oh, wow. guys. Awesome. Thank you very much for the support, guys. Were you into DIY before you introduced yourself with custom PCs? Into DIY? You know what? Not as... No, not... Well, yes and no, but I didn't go out of my way to do DIY. Um, but doing PCs has really sort of um, 
sort of made me more into it, if that makes sense. Like it's, it's made me a lot more handier, that's for sure. Um, cause like I did woodwork and everything at high school and stuff like that, but I never, you know, went out of my way to make projects or anything like that. And now that I've started PCs, I've definitely gotten a lot more into doing my own sort of handiwork and stuff like that. Amelia, you should just leave the room and act like you're doing a makeup tutorial. Should I take the phone with me? You guys can like come along for the ride. <laughs> makeup tutorial. Yeah. The video takes a dramatic twist. <laughs> <laughs> Changes heavy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Blue snow makeup tutorial. Woohoo! So what's the time for all of you guys? Is anyone up past midnight at the moment? Who's at school watching? <laughs> Who's at work? <laughs> yeah, watching. I usually get a few people at work <laughs> in school who are like just playing the dodgy behind the monitor watching the stream. Another plot twist, show them Corey's makeup. Hey, oh, I like that better. That'd be, that? that'd be fun. <laughs> Gadget Joe. Gadget Joe. Oh, there's a few people up past their bedtime. Past I see bed. I see that. I see you guys. <laughs> Haven't you got school tomorrow? <laughs> Blaster Dog! Hey, just saw you were streaming on YouTube. This isn't Twitch. <laughs> This isn't Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> At uni event. right now. Ooh. Blast the Dark, we actually played a game of Rocket League last night. We did. It was terrible. <laughs> we <laughs> We're so, so rusty. Bad. <laughs> we were so terrible. We might uh, might play a bit more tonight if we've got some time. Sausage some says, time. I used to watch you at school, but I'm graduated now. <laughs> graduated, good on you. Yeah, well done. Has it been that long since we've streamed? <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> We're going to bring these streams back. Yeah, we will. Hopefully. Hopefully this weekend. Hopefully. There must be so much gunk in the uh, radiator because I was actually expecting it to be pretty clear by now. So it must all just build up in the radiator and coat the whole surface of it. Connor watches a lot in his spare time and especially with the PC with the moving arms, which is fantastic and amazing. Never seen something like that in my first year of my interest of PC at 17. Ah, uh, thank you, man. Yeah, it's pretty cool when they move. I've still got that PC, actually. You know what? I wanted to pull apart that PC to see if the uh, liquid was doing the same thing because that's also got the thermal tape liquid inside. So, um... We might make that another live stream one day and I promise it won't go for that long. I'll have stuff prepared. <laughs> let's go, let's go. What are you doing with the water? I'm trying to get all the blue out so it doesn't keep... So, I don't... For any of you guys who are new here and have, wasn't, haven't been here since the start, we've got a lot of powder build up sort of inside the GPU and... I only noticed it because I actually removed this acrylic panel that was there that a lot of guys didn't really like, which is fair enough. I completely understand people want to see the main components, the GPU and everything. Luckily, I did remove it because we found a lot of buildup of some gunk in there. And if I left that for too much longer, that would have, you know, gone throughout the whole system. I'm sure that there's some of that gunk inside the CPU block, and I'm sure there's some inside of the radiator as well. The tubes had a bit of coating. It looks like some of that coating is coming off. So luckily it hasn't sort of settled down on it yet. But um, I'm going to put some, just some distilled water in here for now because I need to use this PC as my main PC for editing videos and everything until I get my own PC up and running. Sell the flushed water on eBay is coolant. <laughs> <laughs> How 
Have you talked to Thermal Take about the fluid? Uh, I've, I literally only just pulled the part off before I went live. So, like, this was... I went live basically a minute after I saw it. So, like, I had nothing prepared or anything. Like, I was running out to get all of my drainage stuff. I just wanted to sort of show you guys and show you guys what it sort of looked like with the cover off as well because I know a lot of you guys didn't like the cover. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys what it was and explain sort of what I was aiming for with this PC because this was only a 12-hour build. I wanted to sort of challenge myself to see what I could build in 12 hours. I did do a 24-hour build. When was it? It was a couple of months ago. It was that YouTube PC. Was it in November? No, nah, it would have been October? That. probably October, September time. Um, a YouTube themed PC. And that was a 24 hour build. This one's just a 12 hour build. A, a simple loop, um, all of this stuff, a bit of paint work on here. And of course, of course, that acrylic cover that I did. Any advice you can give for working with one of the best supporting female partners in the industry? <laughs> <laughs> Keep secrets to yourself. <laughs> Damn straight. Don't tell them everything. <laughs> you guys nailed it. <laughs> you guys definitely nailed it. <laughs> it's starting to get clearer. There is another YouTuber that does water cooling that has had the same problem with the fluids. Really? Okay. Did he get to his before it destroyed his whole system or was he unfortunate and it just ruined everything? You should do a one second build. Be risky. <laughs> <laughs> one second. I like that. That's a good challenge. I wouldn't even be able to open up the box in one second. <laughs> nice and quick video. <laughs> Easy to edit. <laughs> I should have um, I should have put the cardboard before I built that project Elysium, the one with the wings that open the robotic wings. I made a cardboard sort of shape of it. I should have put that in the video and shown you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Planning to move my PC into the Cooler Master Cosmos C seven hundred P case. Thoughts on this case before I buy it? It's I've actually got one coming. It's going to be coming in the next week or so. Um, so I want to do a review on it and a case build. So probably you're probably better off waiting for my opinion until then. However, from what I've seen of it, it looks really nice. I love the tempered, the massive window on it. Um, so you're going to be able to show off your hardware really, really well. I've seen that it's got a lot of water cooling support and a lot of space to play with as well. So you can make some pretty crazy builds um, with that case if, if that's the way that you want to go. So yeah, man, I'd, I'd definitely recommend it if that's something that you're very, very interested in, that build. He said, yes, that, please um, do. I, I will wait. Yep, okay. I can definitely do that. Did you hear about the Primo Chill? I'm not sure how to pronounce this. Uh, yeah. View? Is that how you? Yeah. Yep, View Fluid. Maybe you're using it right now. And someone else said um, he had very good results using View. So I've been looking at it because I want it for my personal PC. I'm actually going to have two PCs sitting side by side. They're going to have some limited edition parts in them. Um, they're crazy builds insane builds um, that, are, that I'm going to be doing and I was going to use the Primo, Primo Chill view because I really love the effect of the liquid and everything like that. Um, I don't mind changing it out every six months because I believe that they've got a four to six month lifespan for that liquid um, but I've been sort of holding off a tiny bit just to see if anyone's getting any problems with it. I've seen some people getting problems with certain colors. I've also seen some people have their loops cleaned. So I'm just waiting a bit longer to see how that goes because I've got limited edition parts going into the PC. So I definitely don't want those ruined by like any of this powdery stuff or anything that could possibly happen. Why not use colored tubing instead of colored fluid? That is a good question. <laughs> Wouldn't that be easier? 
could do it. You know what? I really want to do a build with uh, the the chrome plated tubing. I reckon that would be pretty cool. Chrome plated. That would look really nice, actually. In case I get too busy in the next couple of weeks, Merry Christmas to both of you. Thank you, Teffen. Back at you as hey, well. Merry Christmas to you too, man. And I'm everyone sure, in the chat I'm sure as you well. and I will chat before then. Um, we're always chatting on Facebook, so... Yeah, you keep up the good work too, man. You're, you're doing well. Would you do a build with Titan V graphics card, which costs $3,000? Ah... Uh, Look, if it was on his doorstep, you probably Look, would. <laughs> if I had the card, I would. But I'm not going to go out of my way to buy the card because that's that's too much, and we definitely don't have that kind of money Moon... just to spend on a graphics card. Moonfrost says it looks nicer with clear. Plus, you can change the color of fluid easier than changing the entire loop, bends, and everything. What's that? Clear tubes? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Tubes have cleaned up well, but the build-up in the block definitely needs taking apart. Can the CPU blocks be dismantled easy enough to do that? Yeah, so um, once I've got all my PC parts here and I do my other build, once that's finished, I will definitely be taking the uh, GPU block apart, giving that a nice clean, and the CPU block. Unfortunately, we can't look inside the radiator to see what damage is in there, so this will probably not be used anymore. Um, just because I don't like to use a radiator that has gunk, like I don't know if there's gunk in there or not, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. Um, just so I'm saving, you know, other parts of, you know, because this could potentially happen again, I don't know. I don't know what the radiator's like. However, the Prime Material view seemed to clean up um, all of Jay's two cents water blocks and everything like that. So maybe running that through there might clean up the uh, inside the radiators. I, I don't really know. It's hard to tell because it's a uh, closed, a closed object, so you can't see inside. What's the time? Time is 10.07. 10.07. All right. Now, do you guys want to see the rest of this or do you guys just want me to do it in my own time? Because it looks like I'm basically going to keep cycling this until it gets clear. I really don't know how long it's going to take. It is starting to get a lot clearer now. You can see it's clear up here. It's clear going through there. Um, I don't expect it to take a couple more sort of loops but um yeah basically once that's all drained and clean i'm going to be filling it up with the distilled water it's up to you guys if you want to keep watching or not that's that's fine if you guys do but um i also don't want to make you guys bored or anything like that definitely not what i'm trying to do what's your best build of this year or previous years of building pcs my best build, I really enjoyed doing the TIE Fighter. That's been my most favourite build. Um, best build... Mm, my best build... It's hard to say. Like, I... I can't say one's been a best... Or maybe the TIE Fighter. I'd have to say the TIE Fighter. It's been my most favourite build. And it's one where I first tried new techniques in PC building, which has sort of helped me out with um, future builds, which I've completed. So, yeah, probably the Thai, Thai Vance, the Star Wars Thai Vance build that I did. Wow, what are those fans? They're the... What fans? Are these... These ones, they're... the Thelmtac ring fans. They're so good. We need a little... Uh tripod thing for it yeah i don't know how to set it. you know what can we lend it on here we if i put try. this in the middle can you lean the phone on there we're trying to set the phone up so you guys can all see because amelia has to go so she can no longer hold it 
Thoughts. <laughs> How much time do you think it'll get? I don't know how long it's going to take, to be honest. Let's try. Oh, yeah? See, that works perfectly except for this thing. Right in the middle of the screen. That just follows. The only problem is we can't read the chat then. Yeah. Yeah, all right, we might end it. All right. Amelia has to go, guys, so I'm going to continue with this. This will eventually get cleaned out. I might update you guys, put a little... um picture up on Facebook and YouTube so you guys can see just the distilled water in there. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I, I hope you guys learned something about um, taking a loop apart as well. Definitely make sure you've got one of these drain ports in there because it really helps out with the loop. Yeah, and um, yeah, guys, take care. Hope you all enjoyed. Good luck with the fluid. Thanks, sausage. <laughs> Very much appreciated. And hopefully I get a new build out for you guys as well that um, you guys will enjoy. Thanks, Thanks for guys. Watching, guys. Bye. Now, I can't figure out how to stop this thing. <laughs> Is it the X? I'm assuming. <laughs>